Model Y is again on the roll with new slews of features to be highlighted as we keep the ambience of waiting for deliveries of this product from the various plants, especially from Gigafactory Berlin, Germany. Welcome back to Auto Exploits, where we bring you intriguing content on Tesla, EVs, and other electric vehicle industries. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do us a favor by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay alerted whenever we put up new videos. Likes, shares, and comments are also much appreciated. Thank you. Let's get to the main point of today's video which is the slew of new features that the Model Y is scheduled to be launched with from several factories, most notably the Gigafactory in Grunheide, Berlin, Germany. Some of these new features may be available in a month, six months, or even a year. When a new feature is ready, it is introduced into production. The benefit is that when you buy a new Tesla, you are getting the greatest car that Tesla can create at the time, but the disadvantage is that you never know when those step changes will occur. With the recent opening of Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin, we got our first glimpse of the next generation Tesla Model Y, which will be available in 2022. The body's shape hasn't changed. Of course, we know that Tesla doesn't waste time or money modifying the exterior appearance of its cars, but we do know that the SUV will receive considerable modifications on both the outside and inside. During a recent flyover of the huge Grunheide complex, we saw a few Tesla Model Y units rolling out of Gigafactory Berlin, which appeared to have been built at the plant. Although this latest information comes from the Gigafactory Berlin, we see no reason why the same cannot be said for Tesla output at the Gigafactory Texas. Both facilities began construction at the same time and are expected to begin producing automobiles at roughly the same time later this year. It wouldn't make sense for Austin to be behind Berlin in terms of technology or features. We believe that Elon Musk is attempting to curry favor with the German government by making them feel special for having all of this fantastic new manufacturing technology premiere in Germany. The new battery cell and structural pack architecture, as well as the solid front and rear diecast frame components, are the most noticeable changes. Is this what the Model Y skeleton will look like in 2022? It's so simple that it almost seems like a toy, and the majority of it is produced using the same procedure as Hot Wheels. However, this is the most sophisticated vehicle frame design that we are aware of, and it appears to be rather wild. They used a 6,000-ton Giga press to press molten aluminum alloy into a mold to produce the front and rear portions. When the metal hardens, it solidifies into a single block of the vehicle frame. Other car makers, on the other hand, will utilize a series of miniature stamping and casting machines to create individual parts, followed by an army of robots and people who will weld, fold, and glue everything together. Tesla also revealed some details about the new battery pack that makes up the vehicle's center structure and the new battery cells that are inside, but you'll notice that Tesla is still holding back with this demonstration because we only get to see two battery packs, one in cross-section and the other closed. The fact that the front and rear castings are combined is sealed, although the pack that is cut open is actually sitting in the previous Model Y frame with the multiple stamps. Because the parts are all attached, the cross-section pack could be an older design or something similar. Obviously, Tesla doesn't want us to see everything at once, but we can tell that the new pack is loaded with cylindrical cells with a greater diameter. They have a nickel and manganese-based lithium-ion chemistry inside a steel camp and are 46 mm in diameter and 80 mm in length. When a densely packed group of cylinders is sandwiched between two sheets of stamped metal, the result is a honeycomb-like structure. Obviously, the cells are round rather than hexagonal, but the effect is essentially the same. Honeycomb is known for having a remarkable strength-to-weight ratio, allowing the battery pack to be more than stiff enough to serve as the car's center structure. The cabin's floor will be made out of the top of the battery pack, and the seats will be hard. Mounted on the back of the pack. Tesla also provided a cross-section of the current Model Y battery pack for comparison. This one uses their 21 to 70 cylindrical cell, which has a diameter of just 12 millimeters, and is put into these plastic modules that are welded to the vehicle chassis to form the pack. All of this sounds fantastic, but what does it mean for the customer? In electric vehicles, a frame constructed in this manner will be naturally stronger than a regular frame while simultaneously being lighter in weight. 
This decreases the number of contact points where different pieces of metal meet and eliminates voids and hollow spaces between them, therefore eliminating rattling ling and clanging noises from within the automobile body. Crash safety will be another evident benefit of a stronger car frame. There's a certain peace of mind that is going to come from knowing that you have a substantial lump of aluminum in between you and whatever you're about to hit. There is still a crumple zone in front of the casting. It's not going to be like a brick hitting anything, but anything that hits hard enough to make it past the crumple zone is going to have a hard time reaching the cabin. There's also an advantage in the side impact cases. Because the design of the structural battery pack puts the cells closer to the middle of the body and away from the impact zone, you can see from the two cross sections that the plastic modules on the present pack come right to the edge of the frame, whereas the bigger cells on the new pack have at least 6 inches or more room from the edge. Some people fear that the castings can't be replaced if they're damaged in a collision, but honestly, if anything hits you hard enough to bend those solid slabs of aluminum or break the battery pack, then the whole car is going to be toast. Now, given the new frame design is both lighter and more efficient, it will equal out to a longer range per charge than the current design. If given an equal battery pack, the new 46 to 80 cylindrical cell design, on the other hand, is significantly more efficient than the current battery cell with 6 times more power, 5 times more energy capacity, and a 16% increase in range. So, Tesla can go two ways here. They could keep the current pack size while increasing the long-range performance of the Model Y by about 20%. This would provide up to 390 miles of EPA-certified range. The second thing they could do is keep the present spec of 326 miles of range, which is amazing currently, and use fewer battery resources in the pack. Either way, the price of the battery pack will be able to fall. Tesla estimates that the 4680 cell will be 14 times cheaper per kilowatt hour, so they may be able to reduce the overall price. However, if they were to utilize less battery cell material and cheaper cells, then we are looking at a large savings at the pack level, and that should translate to a noticeable savings on the entire vehicle price. So, we'll just have to wait and see which path they take. We know that that was their new refreshed Model S plan. Tesla chose option number two. They reduced the pack capacity from 104 to 100 kilowatt hours and used increases in design efficiency to achieve pretty much the same range as the older performance model, even though they added a third motor and made the car outrageously powerful. Production of 46 to 80 battery cells is still in the test phase right now at a Tesla facility in California, but volume production is coming in 2022. A new battery cell is currently being built on the grounds of Giga Berlin for the express purpose of making these 46 to 80 batteries. That new Berlin factory should be finished in the spring of 2022 thanks to the company's advancements in the manufacturing process. These should ramp up pretty quickly to be the fastest moving battery production lines we've ever seen. The 2022 Model Y receives two significant exterior upgrades. The first is new paint. At Giga Berlin, Tesla is starting to show off the results of their brand new state-of-the-art paint shop. Tesla has had a long-standing paint problem, the quality of their paint finishing has never been great, and despite limiting the color options to just five generic options, they still have quality control issues. Previously, Tesla offered a variety of cool color options, including green and brown, various shades of silver and gray, two types of white, and two types of black. The new paint shop should return us to the days when you could get a really cool, unique-looking Tesla straight from the factory without having to go through the hassle of getting a wrap. The new paint process enables them to layer multiple layers of paint to create the illusion of depth in the color, which will change as the light falls on the body's curve. It also allows for much more precise color application. Tesla demonstrated its capabilities with a couple of custom designs, one of which featured really hard-edged geometric shapes, and the other a really beautiful piece of art. We know that a slew of new paint colors will be released in 2022. We've seen Elon Musk's personal Model S in crimson red before, and we saw it again during the factory tour. Then there was this strange blue color. The photo depicts a super bright and saturated flute car, which is probably not accurate in real life. The new headlight design is the Model Y's second exterior upgrade for 2022. Obviously, we saved the most exciting for last, 
but these are actually pretty cool. In terms of headlights, they employ high-precision LED lights mounted on a gimbal mechanism that can project light not only in any direction, but also in any shape required by the vehicle. The headlights in the factory demonstration projected the word Tesla onto a wall, which is pretty unusual for car headlights to do. This design, according to Musk, will allow the car to keep the light out of the eyes of other people, whether they are other drivers, pedestrians, or cyclists. We have to assume that this will be a significant improvement for autopilot and full self-driving at night, as the car can only drive as well as the digital cameras can see, so the FSD computer can now manipulate the headlights to shine brighter on anything, but it must first get a better look at it. Let's move on to a rumor. The adaptive air suspension for the Models Y is the first new feature that we don't know for sure will be available in 2022, but we can say it has a good chance of being available. We previously discussed how these new methods for producing the body and new battery technologies would make cars much cheaper to build, potentially resulting in lower consumer costs. The Model Y isn't cheap, but it's also not outrageously priced. The average selling price of a new car in America in September was $45,000. The Model Y is priced at $55,000, which is in line with the rest of the vehicle market, and it's a very compelling car at that price. So, rather than lowering the sticker price, Tesla may have incorporated the cost savings into a new feature. The Model Y is incredibly quick for a crossover SUV, and it handles exceptionally well for a vehicle of its size. People love the car's performance, but most owners despise the rough ride it provides. With a traditional coil suspension system, you can choose between tight, responsive handling and a smooth, comfortable ride, a stiff spring or a loose spring. Unless the car has adaptive suspension built in, you can't have both at the same time. This type of system is found in the majority of high-end vehicles. For a tighter suspension feel, put the car in sport or track mode, and leave it in standard or comfort mode for city streets. The Tesla Model S and Model X do this with an adaptive air suspension system that controls the cushioning effect with airbags or bellows on each strut. Tesla's adaptive air suspension debuted in 2019, and it's an intelligent system that actively controls the vehicle's height and shock absorber stiffness to suit the current speed, location, and road conditions. When you're driving at highway speeds, the car will actually lower itself. It will lift itself up to provide more ground clearance on rough and uneven roads to reduce drag. The Model Y was built with the possibility of adaptive air suspension in mind, and the system can fit into the body without modifications, according to the design blueprints. Only Green Bay is included. A Tesla owner and hacker enjoys looking for hidden Easter eggs in his Tesla source code. He discovered two software references to adaptive air suspension in the Model Y firmware, indicating that it was considered as a feature. With all of this new development, body engineering, and battery cell technology, the Tesla Model Y in 2022 appears to be on its way to becoming a much more premium product. It will most likely be one of the world's most advanced electric vehicles. With the new casting design and structural battery, as well as incredible acceleration capability, it would be a bit of a miss if Tesla didn't match it with world-class handling and ride quality. That's it for now. So, what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned to Auto Exploits for all the latest Tesla news and electric vehicle news. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video to let the YouTube universe know that this video is helpful. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.